Next we want to look at the reaction between ionic compounds and the type of reaction is called a metathesis reaction or a double displacement reaction. Here are two ionic compounds and in a double displacement reaction the cation from the first ionic compound is going to be attracted to the anion from the second. So the copper cation is going to be attracted to the hydroxide anion and then the sodium cation is going to pair up with the nitrate anion. When you're determining the products of these double displacement reactions the most important thing to remember is the subscripts from the original formula do not get carried along unless they are part of a polyatomic. So for example, in this case I'm going to take the copper cation and I know that this copper on the reactant side is the positive 2 copper cation because it was paired up with two nitrates. I'm going to take that copper 2 plus and pair it up with the hydroxide which is a negative 1 anion and so if I determine the formula this product is copper 2 hydroxide one copper cation for every two hydroxide anions. I'm going to do the same sort of thing with the other product. I'm going to take the sodium cation, pair that up with the nitrate anion, but this two is not carried along because that two in the original copper two nitrate was there to balance the charge of the copper two plus. I take the sodium and the nitrate and this is a nice one to one ratio. So sodium nitrate is NaNO3. This subscript 2 is important when I'm trying to balance the reaction. So if I rewrite the reaction to make it a little cleaner it'll look like this. So now that I have it rewritten notice I leave a dash in front to remind myself to change the coefficients and not change the subscripts. Now I can balance this reaction and whenever you're trying to balance a reaction that contains polyatomics it's usually easiest to balance the polyatomics as a unit. So for example I could balance two nitrate anions by making the coefficient 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. That's going to throw off the number of sodium so I need 2 in front of sodium hydroxide. And when notice when I do 2 sodium hydroxides I'm automatically balancing the 2 hydroxides in my product. So I have a balanced chemical equation now and I can go back and apply the phases using table 4.2 I know that both reactants are aqueous I know that sodium nitrate is aqueous and the product copper 2 hydroxide is a solid. When you have aqueous reacting with aqueous and if you make a solid that solid is called a precipitate so this is a double displacement reaction. It can also be classified as a precipitation reaction.